Hey guys, I know by yourself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using iOS 14.5 for about three days now. Now, in a follow-up video, in a later video, I will be talking about the battery. In this one, we're only going to be talking about additional features and changes that I've come across. Now, if you follow me here on the channel, you guys already know there's issues with iPhone SE first generation, the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 7, and 7 Plus struggling with battery over overall battery performance on the latest iOS 14.4, 14.3, and so on. So hopefully 14.5 will address that. I continue to test multiple devices, so stay tuned for my follow-up video. In that follow-up, I'll be talking about the battery performance, bug fixes, and as I mentioned in this one, we're going to see additional features and changes that I've come across. Now, the first thing that I do want to talk about is iOS 14.5 has got to be one of my favorite updates so far for iOS 14, and that includes the new feature Apple Watch Unlock with iOS 14.5. If you didn't know, you can now unlock your iPhone while you wear a mask using your Apple Watch. Now, if you didn't watch my initial coverage, links will be in the description, but I wanted to answer two very popular questions in my initial coverage for iOS 14.5 on this new Apple Watch face detection or mask detection unlock with Apple Watch. Number one, you guys were asking, what if you use your Apple Watch to sleep track and someone grabs your phone with a mask on and unlocks it. Well, that's not possible. Here's two reasons why that's not possible. Number one, if you go to sleep tracking, automatically disables this feature. And number two, if you don't use sleep tracking, but you still have your Apple Watch on while you sleep, the iPhone has to detect a mask, but not only a mask, it also has to be you because it also has facial recognition, of course, and therefore it also detects who you are. So it cannot be unlocked from someone else wearing a mask if you're sleeping with your Apple watch on so that's out of the question number two you guys were asking will this unlock any other application that requires face id while wearing a mask and the answer for that right now is no this does not autofill your password it does not unlock other applications as of right now it only works to unlock your iphone when you're wearing a mask and you have your apple watch on with a passcode protected on it so that's out of the question hopefully that answers a very popular question on my initial coverage now let's go ahead and move on to some additional new changes number one if you're an apple news plus subscriber you now get this splash screen here so this is new on the latest 14.5 that i did not cover on my initial coverage there's also a new feature under notifications if we scroll all the way to the bottom of the list you now find the option to go into emergency alerts now if you have the the mute switch on your iPhone and you have this option turned off, when you get a government alert, you won't hear the sound. You'll still get the notification, but now you have the ability to turn off the sound for those alerts. There's slight improvements and changes to the watch application. For example, down here, these little glyphs here have changed a little bit and the discover tab is now the app store tab and then you go into the discover tab. So slight changes within the watch application, the glyphs at the bottom here and controls for the watch application in iOS 14.5. Now, if we head on over here to the cell data options under voice, we now have the option to have the standalone 5G enabled. Now, this is for T-Mobile customers, I believe. And what this will do, it would actually use 5G and 5G only for any network activity. And that includes the cell network connection as well. So 5G standalone is now a new option for T-Mobile customers on iOS 14.5. Now, aside from that, there's also dual SIM support for 5G. It is officially here on 14.5. Finally, looking forward to that as well. So another minor change here on the software updates tab, you now get this new UI here that tells you that your Apple Watch or your iPhone is up to date with the latest security patches and improvements. That goes for Apple Watch updates as well as for the iOS and iPadOS update so overall ios 14.5 looking very very good so far in terms of new features this has got to be one of my favorite updates for ios 14 till date as i mentioned stay tuned for my follow-up video where i'll talk about the battery take a deeper dive into the software and after this video there'll be a youtube community poll posted where you can go ahead and express your thoughts on how the software has been working for you public beta testers soon this will be available for you follow me on twitter for details on that thank you for watching today's video guys and i'll see you on the next one Peace.